Hello and welcome to Ketterk Farms. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a new map by Camille Mapping. This is Shellbrook Creep, Saskatchewan. And this is a 4x map. If we hop into the PDA here, you can see we've got quite a bit of land here. And as you can see, all of the fields are somewhat irregularly shaped. We've got a lot of uh, wet spots and waterways and things like that in the fields. So we'll take a look at that. We've got three playable farms on the map here. If you start in new farmer mode, you're going to start out with this area right here with a large yard and a couple of fields. You've also got a, another arable farm down here in the south. As well as on the east side, we have I be, what I believe is a dairy farm. And so we're going to check out all three of these farmyards. We've got a cell point here on a private farm in the middle of the map, as well as a cell point up here. We've got a lot of productions. We've got an animal dealer over here on the east side of the map. And so we're going to take a look at a lot of these features here real quick and kind of jump into things. Starting out, let's take a look at the farm. We've got two entrances into the farm here the driveway i guess i would call it to the house as well as a road over here into the main yard if we follow this driveway here up you can see that uh, camille has spent some time putting in some nice scenery we've got trees we've got uh, bushes etc and it kind of leads up into the yard here to the right we've got a nice house white picket fences and you can't uh, knock that canadian sign here uh, we do start out with a pickup. This is the only piece of equipment that you start off with on new farmer mode. However, this is a specially modded pickup. If you hop into the store here and take a look at this pickup, you can see it's going to sell for roughly $1.2 million. So coupled with your 100000 starting balance, that's going to be enough to get going with a little bit of equipment here. However, given the size of these uh, starting fields, you may need to be taking out a loan uh, to do some more farming, but uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. If we take a look around the map here, we've got a nice wide open yard layout. You have a storage tank here for your uh, liquid fertilizer or herbicide if you choose to use. If you walk up to the silo, you do have the option to purchase and have the product delivered to your silos or you're going to be able to buy that at a bulk station and bring it up here to store yourself. Continuing around the yard, we've got a number of big storage sheds here. If we open these up, you can see we've got some decoration items in here. And on the outside as well, some decorative items. Same, we've got a fuel tank here with the same options as uh, our other storage tank where you do have the option to come up here and buy fuel, have that delivered directly to you, or you can fill and unload it yourself. We've got uh, what appears to be a uh, fan, maybe some kind of a generator here, I'm not sure, making some noise. So we do have some sound effects floating around on the farm here. A number of storage silos here. Uh, for storing your grain. This is a large Canadian style map. And so this is a very uh, typical bin setup that you might see on a Canadian farm. So plenty of storage here for all of the grain you're gonna be getting off of these very large fields. And then coming up here to the end of the yard, we have another trailer park farms storage shed here. I'm loving these sheds with the big bifold doors. And on the back side of this, we've got uh, several of these Meridian tanks, perfect for storing uh, seed or dry fertilizer. Uh, I believe you can even put lime in one of these. These should be standard storage bins where you're gonna be able to put whatever product that you want into those. But this is gonna make it really easy to keep those cedars moving. If we hop up here and take an aerial view of the farm, you can see we've got plenty of room to get that big machinery around here. And the two starting fields that you have, you've got this really small field kind of out here in the front of the farm. Um, this is not a very big field, but if you look at the size of the other field that you own here, anything short of some of the biggest equipment in the game, you're going to take a long time uh, to do field work in this field. So definitely a map that's set up for that large scale farming I'm looking forward to busting out some really big equipment and getting out here. 
And so if I bring up the map here, you can see we're kind of in the middle of the map. We're going to go ahead and take a quick trip down to the southern farm here. This is the other grain farm on the map and take a look at the yard on that farm. So as we come up to the farm here, you can see that we've got uh, the first driveway here, which is going to take you into the farmyard. And then the second driveway here, which takes you right up to a wonderful uh, house and garage setup here. This is a setup from Elk Mountain Modding. The house and the garage here are both fully detailed. You're able to go inside, wander around. You can see there's just an enormous amount of detail. And for this particular house, the sleep point has been moved inside by the bed, which is kind of a nice little touch. You've also got a uh, trigger here in the bathroom as well. And these mods are available for download as placeables on the Elk Mountain Modding Facebook page. And so I'll make sure to include links not only to Camille's Facebook page, but also to some of the other modders that have uh, placeables, such as Elk Mountain and Trailer Park Farms, as they've got some top-notch stuff. If we jump across here into the yard, you can see that we've got a nice large shop here. And if we head inside of the shop, you can see we've got electric garage doors here that'll open for both of those. We've got a fair amount of detail. There's an office in here. Uh, it's just a really well done uh, mod here. We've got all kinds of options, including a, a workshop area. Plenty of room to store some stuff if you're getting started. And then like the other farm here, we've got a few bins here that would be perfect for storing product like seed or fertilizer. You could also store some kind of grain in those, I'm sure. And then over here, we've got uh, additional storages, a liquid storage tank, a fuel tank, and then a couple more of these uh, Meridian bins with the augers already on the hopper bottoms. And then over here, we've got a nice grain leg setup. And so you're going to be able to... Uh, dump your grain or get it out here and so we've got some nice sounds and things on this setup as well nice souk up setup very nice looking uh, farm very functional and is probably going to be the best farm if you're looking to do a little bit of arable farming but you want to start out small so if you look at the map here you can see the main starting farm starts out with this huge field 15 uh, which would take a small eternity to uh, get started on with some starter equipment where this smaller farm down here if you look you only start with field 22 when you purchase it the land prices are actually pretty cheap and so you're going to be able to expand and get a few of these other smaller fields when you're getting started out and so if you're playing with this on uh, multiplayer or even single player and you want to kind of start small and work your way up, this is going to be a great starting farm for somebody to get going on, especially in farm manager mode where you start off with a million and a half in the bank. And then for our last farm here, we're going to head on over and check out the animal farm on the east side of the map. The easiest way to get over there on the road is going to be to... Uh, Head on down to the south part of the map here. There is a road that kind of cuts across the bottom of the map and allows you to get from the west side to the east side. There's three main roads on this map that kind of head north and south all the way down the length of the map. The road we were just on is in the middle. We're heading over to the east side. And then if you look at the map here, there's one that runs all the way down the west side of the map there. So you've got the ability to kind of get around north and south pretty easily. But there's really only uh, three paths to go north and south and three to go to the east and west. So you can see this is a pretty decent sized map. And uh, depending on where you set up, you might have to do a little bit of driving around to get up to town to... Uh, sell your products and uh, pick up more products from the bulk buy stations but we're coming up here on the animal farm here and this farm is uh, got some cool features to it as well you've got a couple of grain bins here on the side uh, we've got a, a few dry storage bins here so you know perfect for seed or fertilizer or what have you we've got another big cold storage shed if we open it up this is the uh, same shed that was on the main farm, just with uh, less decorative items inside. 
we've got a large bunker over here uh, if you want to make silage uh, with the bunker and then if we head on over here to the animal setup we've got a few cool features uh, first off this barn structure is something that's available as a download a placeable from jmf it's his thai style barn and so if we look in here there's a a uh, bunch of cows, all of the doors and stuff on this uh, building work. So you can come in here and move around. We've got some cows in there and you've got your uh, slurry pit out here. You have your manure dump point. You've got a bunch of cows out in the field. They are animated and moving around, which is kind of cool. And so that's always uh, nice when you've got stuff that's out there and moving. And then here we've got a really cool... A production facility and so if we kind of come up here you can see this is the TMR mixers silos if I hop into the production chains menu in town we've got some of the base game normal production systems but if I scroll down here to the bottom you can see we've got TMR mixer silos and so you're able to put either corn chap or uh, grass into this to do corn silage or haylage in the big harvest stores and then you've also got the option to mix those products instead and use them as part of TMR silage. So you've got a total mix ration output here that's going to come from a mix of corn and grass silage, uh, corn and hay, corn, hay and grass, corn chaff, grass co and actual corn. And so you can see we've got a few different combinations here that you can kind of mix and match these uh, as you want and you would simply control that by activating which one you want for what kind of game behavior you want and so I really like the addition to, of the production chain systems to the maps as it lets you kind of fine-tune this if you're really uh, interested in it you can go in and change these values in the XML pretty easily if you think that um, you should have a little bit different mix for your mixed feed but in general I think that uh, this is a really cool addition to the game and I'm happy to see that added here on the map. And if we just continue here around the corner, we've got uh, the small barn here from the base game map. You've got a pressure washer, a water point, and your fuel trigger. And so this is a really cool start out farm for anybody interested in getting into cows or dairy. And then if we just move north down the uh, road here, you can see we've got some awesome fields a lot of water um, this river that kind of runs through the area and then in a lot of the field areas you can see we've got these uh, wetlands areas you know even out in the fields here we've got wetland areas that are kind of mixed into the middle of the field and so i thought these were really well done um, looks pretty cool i know a lot of areas up in saskatchewan have uh, different wetland areas like that even in you know the midwest and such where i'm at you see a lot of that kind of land in the middle of a field but uh, moving down the way here just a little bit we come to the animal cell point and so you can see this is canadian beef and it looks you know kind of like a normal farm setup here but uh, this right here is the cell point where you're going to be able to drop off your uh, animals and get them sold now i mentioned before there's kind of three ways to get across the map we went across the south entrance if we head back south just a little bit there's a road that kind of cuts through the middle of the map here uh, you can kind of follow it along the waterway here and this road is going to be uh, really useful for anybody wanting to get from the east to the west side of the map kind of in the middle but it is a narrow winding road here that follows along this river and so you have to be thoughtful about what size of equipment you're trying to bring through uh, this road. But this takes you right back to that main road that goes down the middle of the map. And this is kind of a private farm. This isn't a purchasable farm. And it acts as both a sell point as well as a place to bulk purchase uh, materials. So here you're going to be able to bulk purchase your seed and fertilizer, I believe as well as sell your grains to uh, this particular farm here. And so this is kind of a cool setup. And then if we just continue north down that road, you can see we've just got these ginormous fields. 
uh, great views into the horizon. A uh, very nice looking map and from a frame rate perspective, it's done really good. You can see here we're hovering right up around 60 frames a second, no problem. Um, in fact, my frames per second are capped at 60, so you're always going to see it hover right around that. As we enter town here, you're going to be able to see to the right, we've got a number of cell points as well as uh, production facilities. So here's the Nutrient Ag Solutions. This is your main bulk buy point. You're going to be able to get uh, all of your bulk purchases here, including anhydrous. This map is anhydrous ammonia ready. And so this is where you're going to pick up your anhydrous, your lime, uh, seed, etc., cetera, uh, for all of your farming needs. And then continuing down here, we've got the grain mill, which is one of the base game uh, production facilities. I believe you've got your cereal factory there, the dairy, etc. So all of your production needs are here. And then we have uh, what I believe is the other sell point on the map. So you're going to be able to sell your grains here. We've got a uh, Pioneer uh, Seed uh, station as well, so lots of options here. And I definitely appreciate the use of uh, real life brands and such. And then at the corner of town, we've got our lumber cell point as well as our uh, carpentry production facility. So you can even get into the logging side of things if that's something that you're looking for on the map here. And then if we head right back down into the downtown area and go the other way, you can see we've got a GEA dealer, which is uh, nice given that we do have the animal stuff on the map. And then you've got your John Deere dealer, which I believe acts as the shop for the map. So you're going to be able to purchase your equipment here. Continuing just past that is the BGA. So you have the ability to uh, sell to the BGA. Um, I believe all the fill points are right around the backside here. And then as I mentioned, this road will cut all the way across on the top here to the far west side of the map where there's a, another road that's going to take you north and south all the way down the length of the map here. So if we just fly up a bit here, you can see we've got some fields tucked in back behind the trees with the field entrance there. And then this road does run right along the outside edge of the map. Now I'm flying up a bit. I do like that we have the pseudo real world uh, picture out here to kind of give the horizon of you if you run yourself all the way kind of down here to ground level where you might be driving a tractor it kind of gives you that illusion of some stuff in the distance there uh, without just being a uh, mountain or a hill which wouldn't make a lot of sense uh, given the area of the world that we're in so it looks pretty good here at the ground level especially with some of those trees breaking up the edge of the map there but we're going to just jump back up here and give you kind of a view of the uh, distance here. You can see the main farm there in the middle of the map in the distance with those uh, bins glinting in the sun. And uh, yeah, this is a really cool looking map. Definitely captures that uh, feel from a Canadian style map. You've got wide open spaces uh, mixed in with some kind of wet areas, lots of trees here and there. I don't know. It's a really cool looking map with a lot of options for large-scale farming which as you guys know is kind of my sweet spot so i think this is a map that is definitely going to show up on our multiplayer servers we're going to be hosting this here uh in the near future on uh, multiplayer so hopefully we'll see some different players getting together and uh joining up to tackle some of these farms these fields are uh, definitely going to require more than one person to knock out in a reasonable amount of time. Hopefully you've enjoyed this map tour. I'm uh, still getting back into the swing of videos if you're catching this close to when it comes out. I want to give a huge shout out to Camille for reaching out to me and asking me to do a map review. Always happy to show off some awesome mods. And then I also will have links to Elk Mountain Modding, Trailer Park Farms, Crooked Creek Modding, as well as JMF's Thai Style Barn in the description of the video. That's all for today. Ketterk, out.